Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Daily Dose. Today we are doing a very, very quick video on the campaign mode. So a big shout out for the guys that were in the uh, very brief, <laughs> very brief live stream on Discord. If you haven't already checked out our Discord channel, make sure you do. It's in the link in the description box below. Jump in, hit that like, subscribe, notification button to stay up to date on the content. But without further ado, we are going to do a story time. Now, as you can probably tell, we've already done 90% of the story. However, this was a question that has been asked to me in a previous comment. How the fuck do you get the last reward? So, honestly, it's a, it's a random ask for reward. And, and look, you could probably get an epic or you get a legendary. Maybe you use it. Some people are just completionist, and I agree. Um, I was stumped for a while, and I believe it was Excalibur or Xavier um, that pointed it out in the chat. I couldn't read it, so luckily Anth was available to read it. But we're going to show you how to get it now if we can figure out the rotation. Let me think, let me think. We go here. We go down here. So we do have to do a couple of fights. I will skip them because they're not very exciting. Um, if anyone's wondering about this process, like from the end to end, it's pretty self-explanatory. At least this one is. Uh, this is probably one of the e easiest ones, in my opinion, in terms of story mode complexity. Um, if you do get stuck, ask us in the Discord and I can do a full-length glide to where you actually need to go. But basically, it can take your sweet time. Um, realistically, it's just two trap mechanisms. Uh, but this one is for those that are like stuck, like the secret to this. So you talk to the civilian guy, you have a chat to him, and he talks to you about a bandit. And basically, it's all the way up here, and a path gets revealed, and you could probably just see the bottom half of the bandit there. Anyway, so you talk to this guy, and he says... If I talk to him again, well, let me talk to him. No, nope. okay. So he goes, you got to kill the bandit up here. So we can travel all the way up this way. Do, 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 do. Uh, lots of fucking running. Anyway, so you talk to this guy here who's the bandit. Um, basically says, hey... Are you the boss? Yada, yada, yada. And he's like, yeah, who are you guys? Uh, seems like officers. Uh, we heard you're harming villagers. We're here to kill you. And he goes, please don't kill me. We became thieves because we're poor. Show mercy. Anyway, you can read this through. It's a, it's a little like narrative. Basically, he says um, you've been tricked. Uh, and the guy that you talked to in the beginning um you basically hit this option here. It's the second option. So instead of engaging him in a fight, which you can if you press him again, you'll fight him again. Uh, but instead of that, you say, I believe the bandit. So then you go down to the chief guy down here. Don't worry, don't worry. It all makes sense in a second. It's a little thing that added to the game, which I, I actually found semi-enjoyable, though very frustrating at the time. So this guy turns into the bandits, asks, hey, have you killed them all? He's like, no, you're just bandits as well. Yada, 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 busted. So you fight this guy. They're not very hard um, if you get to around 15 billion power level. Uh, before anyone asked me, I'd say you could probably clear this story mode with around 12 billion quite comfortably, depending on your nation. I would say... Mm, y Nation is probably going to be able to clear it a little bit quicker because of the freeze ability of Xiao Xiao and of course Xiao Zhi. Uh, Warlord, you might need a little bit more RNG depending on which of the uh, skills you get from killing them. Um, but as you can see, at 20 billion, they're not really, they don't really do anything to you. So uh, obviously, this is probably for. Uh, I mean, arguably, you want to pick the ones that are going to suit your team, but you're like, okay, so what the fuck happened, PB? Um, there's nothing there. And so you go all the way back up here, go and talk to the bandit again. Lots of running around the map, but um, I mean, I, I figure it's worth it in like 
yeah, I don't know, fucking, it's, it's worth it if you want to be a completionist, right? So you talk to this guy again, and then he's like, oh, thank you so much, yada, 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 and voila, the chest appears, obtain that, it's the gift, and of course, that is the completion, which is a perfect clear. So hopefully that's helped a few people in terms of how to finish uh, the wisdom, uh, well, the last one. Now, of course, if you, you know, if you're at that stage of the game, you already know you're going to your buff chi here and you go to, I believe, your scroll index and it will be this one here. So you get uh, physical defense plus 8%. Not bad, not bad. Um, I wonder when the events will appear. Some of these ones will be quite cool to acquire. Um, but yeah, I figured that, that would be a nice, easy way to explain how you get the last part of the Bandit's Quest. For those that don't know already, we'll open these ones up, see if we get a Legendary. Ah, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't at all. Can we get anything good here? We got a Tiger Charm. That's fine. Um, honestly, there's... Probably not too much going on this week. I don't really feel like we need to do a separate video to explain the concepts of arms race. We've done probably 20 of them already. But if you are sort of confused about the ideas behind here, um, rule number one is join a legion. And after that, you can just do your daily mission tasks and contribute. And basically always buy the incense for gold. I'm a little bit short of gold, but I'll get some in a minute anyway. Um, and basically, you just need to spend the resources. Can't, don't, don't let these resources elapse. Obviously, there's some other ways you can buy there. Um, if you don't spend the resources here, you will lose them at the end of the event. Um, you can acquire some additional ones through this table. But basically, you know, you just contribute troops and eventually you'll get on the leaderboard. I will whale for this event because I need to come first. Um, this time around, at least I'm pretty sure I'll come first this time. So I'm going to spend a bit of money to do that. And the reason being is I want to start my wing sets to the blazing. So I've been putting off my wings for a while now, as you can probably tell, they're still at the baby, uh, level. Actually, now that I think about it, can I, I've got one, one, two, so I only need, where is it? Huh? How can I get this while we're doing it on camera without having to uh, to purchase anything? Let me think about this. Siege? Let's go into Siege. Do I have any cash-ish? Yes, I do. Of course we do. <laughs> it's always the... Uh, it's You never know if you're going to have enough money in Siege, right? Uh, where is it? Where is it? So we can grab a couple of those ones. Ten of those should equal 150 which it does, we can grab a Thunderfire Feather, and that should be enough for me to synthesize, perfect, so we need one of those feathers to upgrade our wing, and it will go into Thunder Wrath, so that was a little bit of a boost. Obviously, we're going to get to the G6 Tier 1 wing. Um, we will need to spend, like I said, a little bit of money to do that. But the reality is we probably will end up on the 2000 scoreboard. So, yeah, it, you know, it's a, it's a bit of an investment. But I figured it's about time that we get to Blazing. Uh, I don't think we'll get to G6 Tier 2. It'll just cost us a little bit too much, I think. Um, I don't actually know even if we would be able to technically do that just because of the reward structure. Um, so we're going to aim for the two shards there. And uh, I mean, we might actually be able to do it if we get in the top 10 um, because those two shards plus that one shard is one thunder fire and then we can get another full feather as well. Um, I doubt, I, I highly doubt we would even want to get within the top five, mainly because that's not going to help me out. <laughs> I know that's the weirdest thing to say. It's just at this stage of the game, I, oh, I, you know what? Actually, maybe, maybe. Mm. Then I'd be stuck though, because I'd be like, fuck, I want to save one of these ones. Um, but anyway, we'll discuss that. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but it's going to cost us a bit of money to do so. Um, either way. I figure we'll probably push pretty hard for this event, but I think, um, 
I don't think there's anything new or exciting going on in terms of reward structure, which is fine. Is there anything else that we want to cover? Maybe we can talk slightly about the index. So we do have the, the uh, Generation 2 heroes appearing. Um, these are just upgraded versions of ones that are pre-existing in the game. So Zhang Wei, uh, Tashi Si, and of course Tank Stash and Liao Zhang. Um, so these guys obviously have two slots, so Epic and Hero, or Mythic I should say. They're pretty good. Uh, you can go through these ones in your own time, but they're essentially like any other Mythic. Uh, I hear that this guy here is the best one out of all of them. Um, arguably, you know, the taunt factor of him, like I said, you'll have to, you'll have to read this your, yourself. But the taunt factor seems very good. Tashi Shi looks interesting. Dank Stash looks great for his support mechanism. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm going to be building Dank Stash regardless. Just going to stick with our nation. Um, whether or not that's sort of good or bad, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to have fun and play with the Warlords regardless. And maybe um, maybe very soon we'll be able to 7-star Jiju and then finish off Actually, I think that's the last seven star we need, except for, um, he, who is it? Who is it? I forget. Where is he? I need you to do this guy as well. Zhu Yang. I have to get him to seven star as well. But we're slowly getting to the point of being able to seven star a lot of our team members, which is great. Um, next, obviously, Mythic Event, we should be able to um, either finish off uh probably get Lou up to I think five star will probably be a good goal if that's possible without having to spend a thousand dollars. Um that would be nice. But being tax time in Australia, uh we get fat pays so we might spend a little bit and see if we can push her up and then of course start to build towards Dank Stash when he appears in uh the Celebrate Festival on the 15th of July. So the 15th of July, lock that in. It is confirmed. It will be the Celebrate Festival and we are due uh, the next Mythic Hero. So for those that are looking to build him straight away, he will be appearing there. Um, but hopefully everyone's 4th of July went well for the Americans that watch this. Um, and of course, for those around the rest of the world, hopefully your weekend has been fantastic and you have a wonderful week ahead. I'll be next on i think live stream maybe tomorrow maybe the day after i'll try to do it a little later in the day so people um you know it's morning time instead of 2 a.m in the morning sorry about that for those that joined <laughs> um, but yeah let us know in the comment section below if you have any questions thanks for watching so far and i'll catch you all in the next one